All right, guys, here we go again. Leave me alone, squirrel or skunk or whatever you are. I don't like you. Alright, let's do this, buddy. Wanna hit him? Sir, sir. Man, I wish he didn't jump back with all his attacks. Okay. So you're weak to fire and you're a beast. Okay, I would, I would love if I could... This thing needs to fall off now. Alright, just keep him, keep him locked down. Okay, real quick. What arts are effective against beasts? This is something I need to know. Winged, Fred, Fiends, Therian. Okay. Oh my god, I can't stop that. Oh, that time it actually worked. Stand strong! Danger Roma. Sounds dangerous. We'll have to wait to cut through the situation. I mean, since arts aren't all that effective. So we can win this if we use sword-based physical attacks, right? Yep, that's why I said cut through. Get it? You just wanted a reason to say that. Tiger Blade! 
Okay, okay, okay. I can't move. 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 I wish I knew whether or not he was using a spell or a hidden art, and there's no fucking way to know. Kitty, please shut up. Kitty, please shut the fuck up. Man, I wish there was more variety in this. I mean, it's like all of this Armitation's moves are the exact same. Why aren't you banishing blasting? God damn it, will you please hit him? No, I broke it! What the hell? Do my arts change depending on who's out? Possibly. That's really weird. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is it showing this screen? That's that's really weird. Wait, wait, wait. Am I not controlling Saray? I forgot how to change back. Okay, I would I would like to 
control Saray, please? How, how I do? I mean, sure, get me stuff, I guess. But I, I would like to control Saray, please. I thought it was like when you do this and you press this, but apparently not. Okay. Well, can I please see, can I see her actual loadout? Thank you. She doesn't have anything against beasts. Why can't I go back to Saray? I mean, that's how I change her. Oh, okay. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working before. Nope, I, I can't armatize for some reason. I mean, I know because I don't have the thing, but I feel like I should by now. Um, Saray? Wow, this is a kind of embarrassing fight. I'm still entirely sure why he's not banishing blast right now. I'm pressing. Oh, because I have no derp, because I'm at zero still. I don't know why you chose to armatize right there. I wish you wouldn't. Still do not have an armization up. I don't. I, why is it so slow to happen? No, I fucking interrupted that. God damn it, people were dead. Well, I ah. quite talented. I and I tried so hard. I'm frick. I think you're definitely overrating that. Well, apparently Saray got back up at the very last second, which is good, but yeah, Rose was definitely down, unfortunately. Oh, that pisses me off. It also looks like Edna may have been down because her thing is grayed out. Ah, Hey, we won. I, one of the things that really bothers me is I still do not know how you tell if they're using a hidden art or a um, seraphic art or whatever their equivalent of it is. Um, because I, I know that you break seraphic arts with basic attacks, I know you break a hidden art with a seraphic art, but I don't know... They're both just little things with stabs that go around slowly. I died so many times in that fight because I just... I did not know which one they were doing, so I didn't know how to counter it. Frustrating. I mean, I used to. 
used to be pretty okay at making food, but now? Really? That was certainly not expected, but okay. That works, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to go run back. I will see you at Pendrago. Because uh, we're actually going into the damn city right now. Holy crap, that that fight was terrible. That's, again, it's it, it's a fight that forces you to learn by still... That's, I think, one of the issues I have with the game, is that they give you a lot of really good information, but I feel like there's just very critical parts they don't fill you in on. I'm also not entirely sure why my... Um, Blast Gauge fills up so slowly with Saray. Because it's like I, I used my three blasts at the beginning, and then the others got back up to two pretty quick, but Saray just didn't. But anyway, I will see you all next time. Enough ranting, raving, rumbling, and stuff. So, see you next time. Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Stereo HD Blind. We just beat the mini boss, and I was very mad about it. Um,. Probably shouldn't say welcome back, this is not the beginning of the episode, but it kind of is for me, because there's been like a day break between then and now, because I got called into work. Doing my job is amazing. Whoa. This place is huge! And very yes. benevolent. Pendrago is the largest city on the Glenwood continent. Is or was hmm. back when Where you were Where can we active. find an inn? I recommend the one directly in front of the plaza. You sure know your way around. Well, you know, I used to come here a lot. How come? Probably merch and stuff. Yeah, run away circus. I'm surprised how few people know how the like traditional shepherd dog. Here you go. Awesome, ice pops. Okay, so there's gonna be a scene or something up there. It doesn't look like there's anything else to do other than go to it. You guys yell at me sometimes when I'm too eager to go to where the star is, so I I, I wanna give a quick you know once over. Check the place out. Well, hi there. You have your sword drawn. What's going on? That's probably bad. Wow. Sergey! He's one of the Cardinal's subordinates. I tried to apprehend him, but well, you saw what he was like. Apprehend him for what? His movements were incredible. You could tell, right? It was a Hellion. The Cardinal's underling is a Hellion? Then... This is probably not going to be the best meeting I've ever had. Forgive me, sir. He's escaped into the Shrine Church. It looks like it's true. It certainly does. I believe he was likely a messenger of- I'm cold. You can blather on inside. Yeah, you guys can get the cold? Tell us the details after we find shelter from the rain, if you please. Our friends are feeling a bit chilly, and even a seraph can catch a cold. Friends? Not that what, you can you tell, you since you can't see him. Forgive me. I should have been mindful of the Seraphim's presence. Let us head for the Knight's Tower. That is a really... Your wife effect... sure is considerate. Yep. That is a very effective... Um... He still thinks they're married. <laughs> Sorry. Stop talking so I can talk. I keep thinking they're done. I'm kind of surprised that they don't do that more often in order to convince people to share for real. That's always like, oh, so this is what the shepherd is. Someone just talking to himself? And then it's like, okay, just go over and smack someone. That will convince them you're real. It's like, I definitely saw some shopkeeper people. I have not actually bought this stuff in a while. Because I make it myself. Well, that's interesting. I can just go whoop. from your face after coming once. What is over here? I can't go over here. I sort of assumed it wouldn't let me. 
But that's what you get when you assume. That's why I never assume. I just presume. Makes a prez out of you and me, and that's way better. Alright. I heard the Shepherd show up the battle a while back. When last time Bell, you know what happened? There's more talk about it. There's, there's about the Cardinal's miracles. That is the Cardinal using, like, Hellion magic in order to cause miracles in order to be in power? That is dash cunning, actually. Yeah, I see this over here. Hey there, Captain Turtle. Alright, let's see here. Sorry for not reading every little snow dialogue I come across. But I'm not gonna. I mean, that's one of those things. I say that I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not planning on doing it, so I guess I'm not really all that sorry now, am I? I guess I'm not. Can't talk to that guy. Okay, so I was wondering if this was the knights like place because there were definitely a lot of knights around, but I it looks like it is not. So this is where I ran into him before. And they went up that way. Is this the nice place? I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll find it. I'm not, I'm not worried, but, you know. That might be it, but let me see what's down this way. Hmm, there's a dead end. Kind of feel like I should run into the fox guy there. Except he's dead. Did he get killed by the scattered bones? Wait, no, this is where they were. Never mind. Never me mind. I was thinking it was on that other screen, but nope. I was incorrect. What is up here? Or Norman's up here. Laying in the freaking rain, dude. This Norman's dumb. That Norman's weren't supposed to be dumb. I am seeing a staggeringly low amount of scenes. Oh, that's where the guy jumped up. Well, you kind of already do have proof, don't you? I mean, that was the Pope's underlay. I mean, granted, it doesn't show he's directly involved, but that certainly gives you. A formal reason Is to that begin an inquiry. Inquiry. There's no time for conversation, but if your spell gauge is damage completed, it will not be restored to your advertise once again. Last gauge also returns to faster in normal state. If you're okay with the HP department, if your last gauge is running low, it's best to return to normal state to replenish it. I don't know, I was in a fight, my freaking last gauge wasn't going up at all. It was going up super slow. I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Alright, let's go through the doors. Well, let's not go through the doors. Never mind. This isn't the palace, though. What, what is this? Why won't they even tell me? Normally, they're like, you can't go through here because of blah. That's why they just find out and ignore me. Hi, cat bird. Well, I'm making a lot of stuff while I run around, if nothing else. So this is the shrine church. Well, then where the heck is? Northern quarter, eastern quarter, the Knights Tower. I was at the Knights Tower previously, and they wouldn't let me in. Pedrego's mean, guys. I don't like Pedrego at all. I'm also not a big fan of this rain. 
Primarily because I live in Washington and it rains on me all the damn time. I saw you back here. Trying to hide from me, are they? I will not let them. Oh no, I didn't try to go through this door. I tried to go into the castle. I'm onto this. This should be a better place to talk. It should be. Did everything go okay? Can we get in the church? I do have to say, I, I, I do doubt a little bit um, Edna, like, jabbing him with an umbrella because she's cold and she wants to go inside. She can go inside Saray and be fine. Come on. I secured the permissions, but after that last incident, I'm afraid we're likely under high scrutiny. I'm the shepherd. So what else is new? They weren't big fans of us in the first place. Yeah, good point. We've got nothing to hide. Let's do it. Look at that. Ever since Rose joined up with us, I feel like Saray has become so much more proactive. Too bad it means that much more trouble for us. You're good at trouble. Thank you. What you do? It was my decision. It was so to nice of him to wait until they finished talking, though. That he I really can't wanted them. to see the shrine inside the church. There's something about you that reminds me of the Pope. He too would never hesitate to spare expenses for the sake of his people. Or the Pope is the old shepherd. Oh boy, another masochist. I see. I've prepared lodgings for you. I pray that the Seraphim will also be able to rest well tonight. But Captain. It's been three days since last we heard from Boris after his infiltration. I believe we should hurry. That was not very convincing Who's voice Boris? acting. The rain may be affecting our food supplies, but I shall prepare our famous Drago stew for you. That is not Aren't the answer Aren't you to the, the least bit concerned? He's your only brother. Oh, come on. That's a horrible exposition drop. I do not wish to burden you with my troubles any more than I already have. Too Please late. I already heard him. Nope. We're going in right now. It's a kind offer. Let's take it. Let's not. Let's go after Boris. Thank you. No! I am not happy with that at all. We know if someone's in trouble and we're not going to go help them? Do you advise young emperors to not follow a single party? Be it the Night Squad Church or any other body? It's not like this, the Pope Masadra would know what to do. Pope Masadra? Dude. Well, then let me go after them. I'm a freaking hero. Okay, you said you'd prepare uh, rooms for me. Where exactly are these mystery rooms? I guess they're not in the night's hour. Sergei sure seems like a good guy. He is, though I fear he may be a bit too genuine and sincere to command the knights. I agree. I hope he has what it takes. We've got plenty of worries of our own. Let's not get hung up on other people's issues. I hope this doesn't stop him from talking. Crap. I didn't even think about that. Where are my rooms? I guess I go to the inn? The only thing I can think of, although I haven't even seen the inn yet. They said they recommended one across from the square, but I don't know where that is exactly. Oh, dirt right here. Okay. Let's end it up. A meal. Uh, hey, wow. learn some matters. You sure can eat. So can these two. It was surprisingly good. I couldn't help myself. What was everyone else thinking of these food just disappeared? 85 points. My policy is eat while you can. It's been ingrained in me since I was a kid. That's the law of a soldier. You were a soldier? Hmm. A soldier, huh? Soldier? 
Aren't you and your buddies in an assassin's guild? Well, you know, it wasn't always like this. We used to be just a band of mercenaries. Not to brag, but they called us the best on the continent. Who did? You? Is that right? <sighs> That's it for me. We've got a job to do tomorrow. Is Rose's band of mercenaries the one you mentioned before? The Wind Riders, I believe. I think Something I've heard of them. Sense. The tale said just a hundred of them could scatter a force of 20,000 men and capture three castles in one night. What happened to them? Yeah, they were a legendary band of mercenaries. It's no wonder Rollins itself was their primary employer. I mean, they don't have to strong. make them fall into a, just a band of assassins. Strong and loyal. To the point that even the Emperor of Rollins trusted them like his right-hand man. Isn't that right? I don't think he wants to talk about it's it. It's true. Was true. But then, the Imperial family of Rollins ended up stabbing them in the back. Along with the very one I'm seeking vengeance against. The Imperial uh -oh. family joined forces with Hellions? Is it that surprising? I guess not. People and Hellions aren't separate entities, after all. Wow, so the... Very true. You can even consider them two sides of the same coin. In fact, if the Cardinal's power is somehow linked to a Hellion, things start to make sense. It looks like Rose snuck out through the back. Can't take my eyes off her for a second. Hey, Dazzle! Once again, everyone else just sees me jump, leap my feet, yell, hey, Dezel, and I wonder and if someone ordered off. an assassination. Who? And was she asked to do it by herself? Either way, this is bad. Hmm. That's remarkably nice of her to be like, I, I have an assassination I have to go do, but Soray wouldn't approve. And so I'm going to just go do it by myself. Okay, so how do I get to that star? It's up above me, okay. I was actually ready for a whole bunch of cutscenes whenever I got a chance to sleep, but I don't get a chance to sleep yet. Do you have any equipment you'd like to fuse? No. What's wrong? Why are you all here? That's what we want to know. Where were you going? Oh, just taking a walk. Thought maybe I ate too much. Oh, please. You don't have to follow every whim that pops into your head, damn it. I don't buy that for a we second. We thought you might have ditched us to go assassinate someone. Not yet, silly. That comes later. It's from someone who lost their son in the war that just broke out. Kill the one who started the battle. The invasion was proposed to the Emperor about a year ago, in documents bearing the name of Pope Macedra. Huh? You can't kill You're her, gonna kill gone. the Pope? Hold on. How do you know someone didn't just use his name? I thought he went missing after all. Well, this was maybe. a year ago. But then again, maybe not. It's awfully close to the time you went missing. We'll have to investigate further. And what if we find out that he's bad? If it's evil? The Scattered Bones slay it. Even if it's the Pope? The Pope, the Emperor, even the Shepherd. But we weren't evil. Oh, was that... inappropriate? Oh, quit <laughs> acting like you're cute. I'm not a fan of that last part, it's true. It isn't like we walk around all stabby-stabby. We make sure what kind of person our target is first. Hmm. But that's the problem. I think I understand you better, Rose. Who makes the decision? Is it up to the individual well, assassin? Good. I'm starting to understand, too. Why she bears no malevolence, that is. Because she's as nuts as he is? Rose would certainly never tell a lie, that's for sure. Yes, she would. She was always that way. It's in her blood. 
Was the Pope the type of person who would just up and start a war? That's certainly not the impression of him we got from Sergei. He's the de facto leader of a powerful country. He's probably got more layers than you'd think. So here's my issue um, with the entire malevolence thing. Are, is it saying that if you believe malevolence is based off of negative emotion, and if you if you are if you're deluded and you think that you're doing the right thing, you don't generate malevolence? Because that seems to be a big gaping hole, and there could be a lot of evil still in the world. Well, wow, there's no as surprising as anything. Tell me more about equipment fusion. Okay, Do we have to? since fusion rules apply only to skills in the same exact slot, there are only three types of combinations you need to remember. First rule, if they're both the same skill, then that's the skill you get after fusion. Simple enough. Sense. I'm guessing that same rule applies when both slots are empty. Yes, the second rule is, if the slot's empty on one item and filled on the other, you get the skill from the filled slot. That's Got also it. Makes sense. So the big question is, what happens when two different skills are in the same slot? That's right. In this last case, a new skill is born from the two old ones, but it's sealed off temporarily. <laughs> and the way to break the seal is, oh my! Really? That was like the most important part. Rose, you're terrible. I throw things at you, Rose. That'll wake you up. Dezel's wind-stepping skill sure is useful in traveling around. Yep. When you say wind, speed is definitely the first thing that comes to mind. Wind isn't the only thing that relates to speed. What do you mean? There's only one source of power. And besides, there may be multiple factors that influence the outcome. I'm not sure I get what you mean. It doesn't matter if it's water or fire. You can produce similar effects depending on how you use those powers. So what's the difference Dezel, you guys, do you think you can teach me how to use them? I can only teach you the basics. The rest all depends on you. Looking out for others as always, huh, Dezel? <sighs> yeah, that's totally what I right. associate with him. No question about that. All right. So I am going to continue getting this, like getting steak, until I run out of scenes. I never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. How is guilty should. the right? Ignorance is a crime, you know. So Shut up, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not. So I say, all Edna keeps saying is, yeah, they say this, yeah, they say that. I know quips. I know things that people say. Like she's not even contributing to the conversation, really. Water, bore my foe. Ice, expand and spread. Yes, it's getting more stable. You're working awfully hard. No, well, this is... Things were a lot more complicated than we thought. Especially that with the Golden's true. Empire. As if the confrontation between the Night Squad and the Church wasn't enough. There's the Scattered Bones Assassin's Guild and Dezel's Revenge. That's quite a lot to handle. Yeah. And there are issues with the Cardinal and Dezel's Vengeance. We may run into strong Hellions. And we also need to take care of Rose. I trust her, but regardless, she's still human. There's always a risk of getting affected by malevolence. True. Just like with the Shepherd. Or something more. Despite something all that, more? they're both pretty carefree about the whole thing. I'm getting fed up with them. It's because you're with them, Miklio. I don't know about that. I'm the same way. I'm just doing this for myself. I may not look like it, but I'm more ambitious than you might think. Do you really mean that? Of course. That was an odd exchange. Oh, I do have to say, the what little I know of Roland so far is really, really interesting. Because it seems to speak of Hellions that are intentionally attempting to 
infiltrate the government. Um, and it's not... Because I've always thought of Hellions just as basically semi-intelligent beasts that try to feed on people. I never thought of them as, you know, people that would go specifically go out and attempt to, you know, um, control human society. Okay, so that's all of these scenes. Or possibly all of them. Now I'll go try the other the other dishes. Nope, nothing for Dragos 2. That is amazing. I really thought there'd be something. Nope. Guys, if you're lying to me about their... No, I, I know you're not lying to me. I, I've seen some of the cutscenes for food before, but still, it's, it's happening a lot less than I thought it would. But yeah, I think in quasi-closing, because um, we are about to end the episode, unfortunately, I do absolutely feel like... Um, oh, I figured since I was talking, that I actually have a scene there. I do... I do like that Rolus is set up so differently than um, the kingdom we came from. That they actually have, or um, Pendrago seems to be controlled by Hellions. Because that makes a lot of sense with humans basically being corrupted by Hellions. I had wondered why we didn't see more officials that were corrupt. And I thought the reason was actually due to um, the individuals, you know, actually believing in what they did, and politicians, although they're kind of crooked, they don't typically feel guilt about what they do. But over here, it certainly seems like... I wonder if that's some a, a pseudo-religious commentary, actually. Because they're saying that politicians did not feel guilt over effectively m wielding the nation and shaping it to their will and doing whatever they wanted to with it. But... The, um... You know, people in the church absolutely did. You know, the church people do feel guilty and are actually doing things against their own interests. I don't know. Answer things to think about. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Thank you very much. Sorry that this was an episode where not a whole lot happened. Um, that's that, that, that's Pendrago, guys. What do we do about it? I don't know, but I can't do it. See you next time, guys.